Hello everyone, welcome to my first YouTube video. And today, we're going to be looking at my grandmother's scrapbook from the 1920s and 30s. This is a one-of-a-kind item, obviously, because there's only one of them. But uh, in addition to having all kinds of artifacts inside of it, which you're about to see, it's also kind of like the glimpse into the life of a high-spirited, fiery southern girl from the 20s and 30s. My grandmother. And I think you're really going to enjoy this, and you might... Uh, just get a better idea of what life was like back then. So anyway, uh, let's just start by looking at the book itself. It's your typical paper-bound, spiral-bound, um, 19... Depression-era scrapbook. I think she probably purchased it in the 20s. Now, just to uh, put this in perspective, she was born in 1917, so... Uh, she was a, a preteen and a teenager when she was doing this, and she actually kind of finishes it... A little bit after her wedding so um, anyway let's start it has her name written here her married name mrs. Edna Robinson her uh, maiden name was Edna Tingle okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn the page now the inside cover has a nice picture of a cat and as you probably have noticed uh, the uh, the cat uh, <laughs> fixation is probably genetic because uh, we have two cats who live here so uh, my grandmother really did love cats anyway now uh, this first page is just little objects that she saved the sort of uh, that were attached to events in her life and she has dates written on them. I'm gonna kind of close in here so you can see some of the stuff and it says um, F and W Grand Silver Stores Incorporated and she has Montgomery, Alabama, May 8th, 1936. Now, living in Lafayette, a trip to Montgomery was probably a big deal back then. Because, you know, in this day and age, the cars didn't go very fast. And people didn't leave town very much. Okay, so you got Oak Park, Montgomery, Alabama, May 8th, 1936. And she has this little stick here from Tallahassee, Alabama, which isn't too far from here. 1936. Oh, uh, by the way, 1936 is the year she got married. So I think this was a very important year for her because she's saving lots of things. Montgomery, Alabama at the Capitol. And she picked up a leaf, it looks like. This is some sort of toothpick thing. I'm not sure what that is. Or it might have been a candy stick maybe. Um, and it says, Montgomery Lanier something. And it ends with school. Interesting. Okay, next page. Got Field Day, 1928, fourth grade. So this kind of shows how old this book is. Um, we got a firecracker from 1933, Christmas. A little tiny spoon, uh, August 23rd, 1931, Anniston, Alabama, which was actually a good little distance. This is neat because um, it's a little piece of a ticket stub from 1933, November 24th. It looks like a swastika on it. Now, I just want to point out that my grandmother was not a Nazi. But... Historically, uh, the Nazi uh, regime didn't actually uh, come into power in Germany until 1933. And the swastika was actually um, used on lots of items in America before that time. And it was removed from our culture after World War II for obvious reasons. So I do think it's interesting that this pops up here. But I also want to dispel any notion that my grandmother was racist because there wasn't a racist bone in her body. Anyway, um, but I, just, I did think that's interesting. That's probably the most controversial part of this entire video. Okay, um, here's a little miniature bottle of Golden Brew, which was a beer. Uh, history class, 1933, uh, for Gilbert. I don't know what was going on with that, but I can tell you that's when Prohibition was repealed, 1933, so maybe that has something to do with it. Um, a piece of our truck, J.H. Roberts Driver, 1934. That's pretty cool. A spoon, oh boy, what a day. And January 30th, 1931, Lafette, Alabama. I just want to point out, uh, it is Lafette. If you if you live in Alabama, it's not Lafayette. So, uh, yeah, we, we're pronouncing it right. <laughs> That's our way of doing it. It's a piece of thread from a cotton mill. Uh, Aniston Cotton Mill, 1935. Here's a Lucky Strike cigarette butt. I uh, want to point out my grandmother, when I knew her, did not drink or smoke. But uh, back in the day, she, you know, like I said, she was a high-spirited Southern girl. March 7th, 1935, the first time I was ever inside a cotton mill, Lafette, Alabama. I actually know where that mill's at. 
I worked in the cotton mills uh, for a couple of years before I went to college. So uh, that's a piece of raw cotton. And I worked in, in the cotton mills in LaGrange for actually the same time I was born in. Okay, that was interesting. I'll talk all about that in later videos. Okay, here we got a pencil. Uh, in English class, 1934. Uh, last day of school, 1934. I have no idea what this is. It just says, what a day. And I think that's clay or something. I don't know. I need to figure out what that is. There's an orange tree leaf. And it says, our first field trip, biology, and um, first orange leaf I ever saw. That's pretty cool. Um, here we got Shriver Service Station, Standard Gas and Oil. Um, there's an old penny. Some ribbon. Sunday, July 21st, 1935. Fort McCullen, Mother's Day, 1935. Conrad Pickers, I Get Married in Biology Club in 1934. Well, he didn't turn out to be my grandpa, so I don't know what happened with that. May 30th, 1935. Had a grand time. Our last field trip, agriculture class. And then she's got like teacher's names written on some of these things. Okay, I'm going to end part one at this point and then uh, go ahead and click on part two so you can continue this little journey with me. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try to end part one if I can get my flip cam to shut off.